Hi everyone, Roxas here. It's been a while, huh? As you know, it's Halloween, and Rachel's going to make another Kingdom Hearts pumpkin like she did last year and the year before. Rachel got several comments from people saying they really liked her pumpkins. Thanks so much. But people also said they could never make anything like that. It seemed too hard. They couldn't carve at all. But guess what? You're in luck. This year, Rachel's going to show you how she makes her cage pumpkins. So maybe you can make a cage pumpkin too. Yay! Thank you for the intro, Roxas. Okay, everybody, I'm going to tell you what you need for making your pumpkin. Obviously, you're going to need a pumpkin. You'll also need a spoon for scooping out the seeds and whatnot. Several different knives for carving. Be careful when you're carving so you don't stab yourself. A pencil. A washable marker. A pin. Any kind of pin will work. Push-up pen, safety pin, whatever. And paper. Alright, the first thing you want to do is cut out the top so you can get inside and scoop your pumpkin clean. Before that, you want to draw what you're going to carve out on the top. So that's where your marker comes in. And it's good to have washable because then you can erase, wash off if you don't like what you have. Once you draw on your shape, whatever you want it to be, this year I'm making mine a heartless, you can begin cutting it out. And make sure when you cut it, you cut it at kind of slant, so that way you can stick the lid back on without the lid falling completely through into the pumpkin. And once you're done cutting it out, you can begin scooping out your pumpkin. So make sure you scoop it out nice and clean. Okay, once you've got your top cut off, make sure you cut the stuff off here so you can be able to put it back on. And now you can start scooping. Alright, so once you've got your pumpkin all scooped out, it should look a little something like this. And you should be able to stick the top on it, like so, so it stays somewhat. It doesn't really look like a heartless right now, it looks more like an elephant. So if you do it like this, it looks more like a heartless. Alright, on to the face. For the face, you can either use your marker again and draw what you want to carve on your pumpkin, or you can draw what you want on a piece of paper and then you would shape the paper to the pumpkin and then use a pin to poke out your drawing. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So here I drew what I wanted to have on my pumpkin on paper, cut it out, and taped it to my pumpkin. And then what you're going to do next is follow the lines and poke holes using your pin all the way around your object, your drawing, whatever you're going to do and just keep poking until you're done. Once you've finished poking, you can now remove your picture and you will have a nice little outline poked out already. And now you can cut it out. For small, like detailed things like this, I like using a, an X-Acto knife because so, it's really small and you can get into tight corners and stuff, just be really careful with it because it's really sharp. And now you can cut up. Yeah, like having the dotted lines makes it so much easier to cut and follow when carving and like, see right here, it's really thin so if you had like a big knife, you wouldn't be able to carve it really well, but with the X-Acto knife, you can get small things and just really small places like for this the exacto knife is really nice because it's really really small so yeah carving this way it does take time so even though this video may end up being like 
only five minutes. It takes several hours to carve a pumpkin this way if you want it to be good. And there you have it, all carved out. So just do that method for every one of your drawings until you have a face and you are finished. So there you go. I hope this wasn't too pathetic of a tutorial, you guys, and I hope that this at least helps somebody. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. Well, that's it everyone. On behalf of Rachel, our heartless friends, and myself, I'd like to say thank you very much everyone and happy Halloween. Bye bye. Oh, I almost forgot. Would you guys like to see my costume? Well, here it is. Ta-da, here it is. Can you guys tell who I am? I'm Luxord, my fellow Organization 13 member. I know the costume looks a little sad because it's, you know, kind of last minute, but hey, it still works, right? Whee! You can have the cards and dice. Take that. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I know that's kind of sad, but yay! Hi guys, Shadow here. Rox went to go change out of his costume. I know it was a little funny looking, but... The facial hair Rox just got for me in that men's pocket was just too perfect for the costume. He looks so like Luxord. It was so hilarious. Yeah, men's pocket has some really interesting effects on Roxas as well as Elle. Here's what I mean. Men's pocket. Pocky for men. Stick to fun. Hey, this stuff is pretty good. What the? Hell, what's with your face? Me? What about you? Ah! Hey Elle, pass the shaving cream. Sure. You'll get to see more of that since over the summer we got together with Elle and had lots of fun. And lots of Pocky. So stay tuned and you can see more of that soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.